Many people think that a valuable treasure is hidden somewhere on remote islands. But as practice shows, all the most precious things are right under our noses. Welcome to Top Facts, and in this episode, you will witness incredible discoveries made on ordinary farms. Enjoy the show and let's go. Let's start with something, uh, unusual. A creature found on a farm in the USA. A man who has been farming for many years regularly raised cattle and got healthy piglets. On one occasion, when his pigs were expected to give offspring, he confidently inspected each one for suitability. And suddenly, the last one he saw was this monster. It looks like a hybrid of a human and a pig, but how is that even possible? Did the genes go haywire? And even if they did, what does a human have to do with it? In the comments, people immediately started speculating that this is not one of his piglets. They believe that extraterrestrials left this creature for him. What's your opinion? Write in the comments. Following the rather frightening piglet, it turns out a two-headed calf was also born. This happened in Florida. The animal had two heads, four eyes, two noses, and two mouths. According to the farmer, the poor thing cannot lift its head on its own, so he has to feed it from a bottle. Yes, you heard that right. He is hand-feeding it. The man takes care of the animal seriously, as he doesn't believe it deserves to die due to its unfortunate birth. I think this man deserves some kind of award for his responsible behavior. What would you do in his place? Write in the comments. While some animals struggle to lift their own heads, others seem like they've been hitting the gym for the past few years, and they do it without any breaks. I'm talking about Belgian bodybuilder bulls, which of course, owe their mutation to humans. Thanks to human intervention, these animals are born with incredible muscles. It should be noted that cows are generally more delicate looking as they are representatives of the weaker sex. But bulls are real monsters. Belgian bulls fit within the standard dimensions of an average ruminant, which means they cannot be taller than one and a half meters at the withers. But their muscle mass goes far beyond the model parameters. Moreover, the weight of such a bodybuilder bull can reach one ton or more. Karachi is a financial, commercial, and port center of Pakistan, and it gained fame thanks to a goat named Simba. From birth, the kid caught the attention of its owners with its giant ears. They were not just long, they were abnormally long, unlike anyone else's. Many collectors immediately offered the family exorbitant sums of money, but they refused. They are convinced that it's a gift from above which will surely bring them luck. Remember, at the beginning of the episode, I showed you an unusual pig. Well, it turns out this is not the only case in history when farmers encountered such a creature. In this video, a man was filming newly born piglets when he noticed something strange out of the corner of his eye. Picking up the little one by one of its paws, the man was shocked by what he saw. It was either a pig or a demon possessing the creature. At least, that's how it looked from the outside. It is unknown what happened to it later, but something tells me that nobody from the locals took care of such a beauty. The next animal we're going to talk about is a true treasure and pride of Texas with Alabama. They are home to the Longhorn Bull, which translates literally as Longhorned. This hoofed macho was born during the era of the first Spanish colonizers who sailed to settle the New World. Born in not the most favorable climatic conditions, the Longhorn Bull has several merits. It's a large size, beautiful color, remarkable endurance, and natural cleverness. However, the most recognizable attribute of the Longhorn Bull is its enormous horns. Their length reaches 180 centimeters. Interestingly, scientists still cannot definitively say what they are naturally needed for. Not far from the hero's farm in the following video, an adult deer gave birth to a fawn. It was very small and could hardly move properly. After a little time passed, a real tragedy happened in the same place. It turned out that the little one accidentally stepped into a rabbit hole and tumbled inside. The mother, due to her physical capabilities, couldn't save the baby, but she had no intention of leaving. 
In the end, she chose to stand still and call for help. The cries were heard by a man, the owner of a nearby farm, and he immediately rushed to help. He quickly understood the situation and rescued the fawn from trouble. In Britain, an alpaca gave birth to this unusual baby. He was extremely skinny. I would even say he looked like a skeleton. It looked so strange that even the mother hesitated and was afraid to approach her offspring. Nevertheless, as stated by the veterinarian who arrived at the scene shortly, the little one will be fine. Apparently, such a phenomenon in the world of alpacas is not rare. The next video will undoubtedly not leave you indifferent. A female elephant with her calf was walking along wet roads in Thailand and accidentally fell into a pit. Fortunately, locals quickly noticed it and gathered a whole army of friends to rescue the animals. They worked on it for about an hour and finally achieved what they wanted. However, it was too early to celebrate. Due to panic and strong impacts, the mother elephant got very nervous and couldn't recover. Watching people trying to revive her while the calf desperately roams around, waiting for its mother to wake up is incredibly tough, even through the screen. But don't be sad prematurely. Their efforts paid off, and the mother woke up, stood up, and went back home with her calf. And now I'll tell you about a very strange ritual in Indonesia. Who would have thought that children there could be buried in the hollow trunks of living trees? If a child dies before their teeth start to grow, they are wrapped in some cloth and placed in an empty space inside a growing tree trunk. Then, the opening is closed with a door made of palm fiber. It is believed that when the tree starts to heal, it absorbs the child. Admittedly, when you understand what is hidden inside these trees, looking at it becomes incredibly creepy. Fishermen accidentally discovered the shell of an ancient giant armadillo in Argentina, which lived about 10,000 years ago. The shell was almost in perfect condition. Its preservation is estimated at 98%. Giant armadillos were quite large mammals. Some individuals reached 3 meters in length and weighed up to 2 tons. The thick shell consisted of numerous fused bony plates. It covered the entire upper part of the animal's body. Another small shield was on the head. When a farmer approaches calves, cows consistently try to chase him away, doing so with great confidence, speed, and determination. For example, this farmer clearly had no luck being there all alone, and he didn't even want to harm anyone. He just didn't take the maternal instinct into account. It's amazing that people came up with a solution to this problem. Now they bring a horse with them to protect the farmer from the cow while he does his work. It looks very original, don't you agree? Two opposite-sex royal cobras decided to have some privacy during the mating season on a remote farm, but in the heat of passion, they got entangled in a wire fence. As a result, people had to rescue them despite their venomous nature. Fortunately, everything went smoothly and no one was harmed. I wonder if such things happen often in the wild, or is it a one-in-a-million occurrence? Write what you think in the comments. James Brest, a farmer from Chelsea, Michigan, recently acquired a piece of land that was used as a soybean field. The owner and his friend were inspecting the new property to plan their work and plow the field when they stumbled upon something they could never have imagined. It turned out that on this plot, tusks, a woolly mammoth skull, jawbone, scapulas, and vertebrae were buried. Apparently, the animal was hunted and eaten by Paleo-Indians. In order not to go hungry, they caught a large prey, divided it, and hid it in several places. Baobab is an incredible tree that can be found in the southern hemisphere of our planet. They are huge and long-lived, and their giant trunks provide shelter, food, and water to many animals and people. For example, this person apparently ventured there not for fun, but to get water accumulated in the tree after rain. The reservoir is quite impressive, considering the age and size of the Baobab. While people around the world fear crocodiles and do everything to avoid encountering them, the residents of a village in Africa believe that crocodiles are sacred animals that need to be cared for. The local children play with these predators, ride on them, and the elders feed and watch over their well-being. What do you think about this news? Would you like to visit the village? Write in the comments. 
Could you imagine that one day, the legends circulating among ordinary people would transcend understanding and become real? In one of the states in America, people simultaneously started complaining about missing livestock. And it's not like the animals were simply running away or someone was stealing them. The poor creatures were found dead. The only possibilities seemed to be either wolves or bears. Until people finally captured the creature responsible for this. According to eyewitnesses, it was a chupacabra. Do you think the legendary monster could actually be alive? Well, paying attention to the kind of monsters found all over the world, I think chupacabra or something eerily similar might actually exist. For example, take a look at this creature, resembling either a wolf or a bear, found in Pakistan. People found the monster already dead, its entire mouth covered in blood, having recently feasted on farmers' livestock. However, someone or something did get rid of the rogue. I wonder what this monster could have been. Everyone knows who farmers are and what they do, but few know the intricacies of animal and poultry farming. A 40-year-old Chinese farmer pondered on this and decided to show interested people how he managed to raise 70,000 chickens on his farm. The man wanted to capture the entire development process of his flock. He mentioned some difficulties he faced in maintaining his farm, especially in providing sufficient food and water during the summer for his chicken army. People reacted positively to his venture, and a huge number of comments in a short period made him an internet celebrity. Would you like to visit such an unusual farm? Comment under the video. While some focus on quantity, other farmers strive for quality in their livestock. This was the hallmark of a man from Kenya, but during the birth of one of his pigs, he saw something extraordinary. Right before his eyes, a creature was born that looked like a mix of a pig and some kind of devil. It was evident that the creature had mutated, which was very strange as there had been no such instances in the pig's lineage. Despite the sad outcome, the farmer still tried to care for the little one, but nature eventually took its course, and the weakened creature passed away. A horned lamb is already quite an unusual phenomenon, but what the author of the following video witnessed goes beyond understanding. A man was taking a walk outdoors when he accidentally came across a lonely lamb at his neighbor's place. He wanted to take a photo with it, so he climbed over the fence, and that's when the most interesting part began. The horned lamb started to chase the man, testing his agility and endurance. Fortunately, no one got hurt after these playful antics. If I asked you to imagine a bird different from all others, many of you would probably fantasize about unique coloring. But believe me, if you had encountered a whale-headed stork before, you would never forget it. While most birds have their eyes on the sides of their heads, the whale-headed stork's eyes are positioned in the front, just like a human's. This makes it one of the few birds that see the world in three dimensions. And, as you noticed, it also has a giant beak. These storks have long legs with widely spaced toes, allowing them to live and hunt in African swamps. Usually hunting occurs at dawn, but some individuals have been observed doing it during the day. Using their large beak, these birds catch and swallow fish, frogs, snakes, turtles, and even small crocodiles. But before eating, they clean their beaks from algae and only then swallow their prey. What else unusual can I tell you about them? Well, maybe the sound they make with their beak. Just listen to it. Trying to break a building with a small hammer. I would compare that to how people in this video tried to appear tough and strong next to this abnormal moose. The animal probably looked at them and chuckled at the absurdity of the situation. By the way, because this moose is incredibly large, it is not afraid of people at all, and it's not photoshopped. Such moose really exist, just in very small numbers. Referring to a Belgian blue cow as a heifer is just like calling a crested crocodile a lizard. It's technically correct, but completely misses the point. Unfortunately, there isn't a specific term for a Belgian blue bull yet, so we have to make do with the outdated and mundane cow. 
The white Belgian cow looks like it's about to compete for the title of Mr. Olympia. 1,400 kilograms of almost pure meat can impress even the most seasoned bison. Looking at this beast, you wouldn't guess that it was initially bred for a dairy breed. However, the bovine organism took a different turn, and the gene responsible for myostatin production broke. As a result, scientists presented the world with this. Would you like to have such a cow on your farm? Once the Larry family was working on their garden, they were digging up the whole ground when they accidentally stumbled upon a strange metallic object. Of course, noticing it deep underground, the family dug it up together and realized they had come across a mysterious surprise. It could be a gift from people from the past or some sort of alien's hiding place. Trying to open the mysterious box quickly, they repeatedly failed. Everything was sealed too securely. Apparently, their attempts to open the box bothered them so much that they decided to leave it closed. Despite the possibility of something interesting being inside, people will still keep this Pandora's box locked. Bats are those very creatures that many consider recluses and outcasts of society. They are dangerous, repulsive, and aggressive, or so we were told in childhood. But just look at this video. A man found several bats near his house and, showing sympathy towards them, built a mini-house where they could settle. Aren't they adorable? Another farmer did not expect to encounter any living beings while walking home, but fate decided not to ask and brought him face to face with this mysterious creature. Fortunately, it was already dead, about 100 years old or even older. Judging by its appearance, it was something like an ancient bird. But scientists who saw these footage couldn't come to a unanimous opinion. It is quite possible that the farmer found a new species of animals. Although if I were a person regularly engaged in agriculture, I would prefer to encounter a dead ancient creature rather than witness a locust attack. These pests attack in swarms of tens of thousands and getting rid of them is incredibly challenging. It is estimated that a small locust swarm consumes as much food in a day as 35,000 people. If we're talking about a desert locust, this number multiplies several times. Usually, when people encounter a bear somewhere on the farm, it doesn't bode well. The animal is likely dangerous and aggressive, but not in the case that happened with the people of South Australia they came across an incredibly cute and harmless koala bear that gladly posed for the camera and brought joy to the people. You never know what lies beneath your native soil. For instance, a farmer from Michigan lived for years without suspecting anything until he decided to do some renovations. The reconstruction required digging the ground, and during this process, an interesting detail surfaced. People found the remains of a mammoth, in the soil, they discovered its skull, tusks, pelvis, spine, portions of its scapula, and one knee cup. According to scientists, the rest was either buried elsewhere or consumed by ancient people who killed the animal. A man and his wife were strolling past their country estate when they noticed a horse stuck in their fence. The animal couldn't get out on its own, and the couple had no choice but to help it. They gathered all the necessary tools and got to work. Fortunately for the horse, the rescue didn't take long, and soon it was free and safe. I wonder how the horse got into such an unfortunate situation in the first place. Well, folks, those were incredible discoveries made on ordinary farms. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see something similar, please leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the Top Facts channel, and right now, check out one of the previous episodes that appeared on your screen.